how to make slither I O on scratch so you do not want to create backdrops your backdrop will be red I will show you why later but make it a dark red next create a sprite and if you don't see it's a million gazillion little pixeled up hexagons and then what you do is click it stretch it big 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 keep on stretching it until it look at the appropriate size for your snake gram okay so now next what you do is right when start click go to rare just go to zero zero x zero y zero all zero because we want to and then it will go here next we create player here's an easy way just drag and make a circle make it pink outline it with pink make it a bit darker and then you have a little player you could even add extra extra stuff by adding this and then it will look quite cool outline is kind of ugly but i do it so we want to copy this code and except since we already have it here you could go to front layer because that's awesome and then we have to point in direction mounts pointer put this in a loop and then we want to do another thing is create a variable and call it direction you could just make it one if you want to be more uh more uh i guess specific then create two do one direction another direction but i don't suggest doing that because it doesn't work but then you click set direction to direction and if you don't know here because then um what is direction you could say what is direction and see it will be the same direction because our other direction is the, gonna be exactly the same and so you have to make sure you center it properly or else it's gonna do a weird jig and so you want to rotate it and then when we go here go to x zero zero and forever say point in direction 90 except set direction to direction and then oh yeah we want to hide and then it'll look like this except you do not want to rotate so then it'll look like this and then next thing you do is move negative three steps it takes some stuff so then it'll look like this it'll look like you're moving around and then i'll tell you why i want you to make the backdrop to be red because then if you make the red it'll look like a boundary so we could go back to our middle position 
And next we're going to make food. I will show you a great way to make food. Just make a little dot like that. Except instead of making it this color, like, see it has this color that you don't like. I mean this one. You want this to be the color of the background. Just click this X button here. And then it will create this cool effect, which make it transparent. And so... You could say when start, click forever, wait one second, create a clone of myself, and then hide. And then when I start as a clone, you want to show your little food. And then, we also want to do this forever. Except instead of putting in a forever do repeat until and then say touching sprite 2 and then we want to say point in direction direction this one will not work very well though move negative three steps a lot of you might see this happen. It will not look cool. So when you make a clone, it will follow the mouse pointer and look like that. And that you don't want it to. And so it is always going to zero, zero. So you could say go to random position. Now that's great. But also another thing you need to notice is that you also have to change the color effect by pick random. And next after that, if Touching, whoops, we gotta move this down, and then put this in a loop, if, repeat until touching sprite to, okay, so, anyways, Repeat until touching sprite 2, you want to mm, delete this clone and also put an if. If touching edge, instead of deleting, you also want to hide. And you could just do an if else for this, except you could also do a different way. I will just use if else. Oops. Okay. Then we want to hide. And then show. And then delete this console. Then it will look like this. And they will come back. Repeat until touching sprite 2. And then next, all you have to do is make a score. And then that's the only variable you show. Then we just delete this clone and change score by 1. And that's it. Because then you now have a nice slither IO game. But you could also, of course, add some extra effects. Like this one. It mouse down, go here if 
mouse down then you want to move instead of negative 3 try negative 7 and then you could try that except we have to go to the project page or else you'll drag the big sprite and look we are so fast except you could also try here if touching edge if mouse down you have to add this um as well oh uh oh uh oh, I'm not dying. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how to do this because everyone knows. Just kidding. Okay. Anyways, mm. mouse down, then move negative seven steps. And that's gonna do it. Oops, that's what I'm talking about. We have to go to the project page. Where is the food? Where is the food? I do not see food at all. Where is my food? Food just disappeared. <laughs> Where is my beautiful food? Why is it disappeared? Weird. No. Uh oh. Yeah. So if the food disappears, just do this. If that doesn't work, then just say show. Go to front layer because we want that. And then your food will be here. Except there's another thing you need to do. For the food so now the food works perfectly fine we we are playing slither io we love this game it's so easy cuz you don't die when you hit the red Ooh, I could go away